Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Big Boy, and today is Thursday, so you know what's going on. It's a throwback Thursday video, and I'm sorry for not really posting that much, but it is final week. I'm trying to get this A. That's a bad joke. I'm not going to get it. Hold on. Look at this. Look at it real quick. Boom. Okay, I'm sorry. That was a really good play on my part. It was. It just was. I really like that. I thought it was hilarious. Hey, he must have been so mad because I shot him. No, I didn't shoot him from the back, but I saw him, and then I... Got the nade through the window, so I think that was a pretty boss move on my part. Anyway, the throwback Thursday for this video is the first time I ever got in trouble at school now. This happened in second grade, and I have to admit, before this, I was kind of a goody two-shoes. I didn't really get in trouble. I didn't really, like, mess up or make my parents mad. Uh, and I was, like, a straight-A student. <laughs> that is definitely not the case anymore. But anyway, it, it was it was kind of um, it was kind of sticky situation that I got put in. So basically, I had this uh, good friend growing up. His name was Oli. He was adopted from Russia. His parents adopted him. Very nice family. Really nice guy. Except you know stuff happened with him. You know he got involved with the wrong people. And long story short, he he went to juvie. So. Yeah, sucks. I, I don't know him anymore. Like, he lives in the same area, but we were gonna hang out, because, you know, I don't really want to mess with uh, drugs and all that. But that's that's a story for another time. Anyway, me and him growing up, this was about second grade, like I said, so we were quite young. And uh, we both really, really, really liked the WWE. And for those of you that don't know what WWE is, it's uh, it's this wrestling thing. And I, I think it stands for uh, World of Wrestling Entertainment. I'm not 100% sure they may have changed it, they may have not. And this is a really stupid move on my part. I thought that was a door, not a window. So I tried to walk through it and ended up getting killed. Anyway, kind of a dumbass move. But so yeah, we, we really, really, really enjoyed uh, WWE. So we used to run around and pretend like we were WWE wrestlers. Like we would do the little moves and like little sound effects, you know, like the wah, 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 wah. You know, we were little kids. So. We, we enjoy that kind of stuff, just running around and, you know, RKO and people, Randy or, you know, thug life, one wife, that's what I'm saying. And, yeah, we, we were basically little thugs, we really enjoyed it. And so, at school, we used to mess around and piss off our teachers by doing this, and now my parents didn't know this, so they thought everything was fine and it was all cool, and I was doing great at school, and I have to admit, I was, I was, in second grade, I was reading, like, Harry Potter and stuff, so... You know, I, I was kind of advanced for a second grader, but, you know, I guess that's just because I was a little nerd. But, yeah, um, anyway, we, sorry, I forgot where I was in the story. But we, we used to piss off our teachers and run around, and especially at recess, we used to really get into it. We used to run around and, you know, do all the moves and all that stuff. So, anyway, I had this second grade teacher, and in our school we had homerooms. We didn't have, like... Uh, different classes like we do in high school it was kind of like you had one teacher that taught you everything and so this teacher oh god I can't remember, for the life of me I can't remember her name it, I mean she was a bitch she was just a jerk I mean it was ridiculous she was just one of those old miserable hags that you know belonged in the Salem witch trials so it, it was ridiculous but anyway uh, she she got fed up with us one day, like, horsing around in the classroom and, you know, playing games and all that. So she was like, if this happens again, you're getting a call home. Now, let me explain why that's a big deal. At our school, a call home was, like, the end of the line. That was, like, dropping the bomb. Like, they tell your parents, you're done. You know, that El Fiend is what I'm saying. So I was like, damn, is this bitch serious? I can't tell because I could never tell when she was smiling when she was not. I, it was like her face was that saggy. I could not tell her facial movements. Like, I, there was no emotion. It was like looking at a... You, you ever fill up one of those uh, Ziploc bags of water? And then you just leave it around and some of the water leaks out and it's just kind of floppy? That, that was her face. That was exactly her face. Anyway, it was... And so I was like, I don't know, I can't tell if she's serious or not. So I was like, whatever, she can't be serious. She never, like, did a call home for any other student. And so, it was one day at recess after she said it, we, we, we had forgotten about it, so we were horsing around and messing around, and then we were walking back to the classroom in lines, and so we, walk, uh, we walked right under the window of my homeroom teacher. And so she said, when we got up there, she was acting really passive, and then me and 
Oli kept on horsing around, and then eventually she was like, do you know what I saw? I was watching you guys walk back from recess, and I was like, no, what did you see? And she was like, I don't know, you tell me. So I was like, okay, maybe I'm gonna try and hit her with a juke move, fake her out, maybe she's just lying. And it turns out she, she was, but I was too stupid to, you know, catch her out, so... Basically, long story short, we went back and forth, and then she was like, that's it, I'm calling your parents. I was like, shit. Because my dad's a professor, so he takes school super, super seriously, so I was like, shit. And I started crying. I mean, yeah, I was a little bitch. I started crying. I started crying. And so I was freaking out. I was like, no, just give me one more chance, please, no. And, you know, ugly, ugly little kid cry with snot bubbles and all that. Just, You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Yeah, ended up, they had the wrong number for my dad's cell phone on file, and so I, I didn't know that. So I went home and I told him, I was like, you know what happened at school today, you know, being a little dumbass. I was like, you know what happened at school today? My friend Ole and my friend Josh both got in trouble for wrestling. He was, he was like, oh, really, what happened? And so I explained the situation to him, but instead of saying me, I said, oh, sorry, I just hit my computer, I didn't want to break it, my precious baby, but instead of saying like me and Ole, I said Josh and Ole throughout the whole story, so then he was like, well, you didn't get a call home, did you? I was like, no, no, of course not, no, 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 and so then he dropped me off at school, and he walked me to the door, I, I can't remember if that was something that he did on a regular basis or not, but he walked me to the door, uh, like made sure I was inside and everything and then my teacher stopped him and I was like shit as soon as I saw them talking like uh he was standing outside and she went up to him and so as soon as I saw them talking I saw it while I was walking up the stairs I was like shit shit I'm done and so let me explain something to you my dad he's an asshole so when he picked us up from school today I was nervous that whole day but when he picked us up from school today I have a twin sister if you didn't know so it was me and my sister and when he picked us up from school, he was acting real passive and kind of just being an asshole, if you know what I mean. So, I, and I knew why. I knew why, but my sister didn't. So, she was like, well, what's wrong? You know, what's going on? Then he was like, you guys know what you did. Uh, and, you know, you lied to me and all this stuff. And my dad has this thing where he's paranoid about people lying to him. He he, he just, he thinks everybody's lying to him. And it's, it's, it's insane. But, anyway, he... So yeah, he was acting really passive, and then when we got home, he kept on acting like an asshole. And, like, I, I knew why, of course, I knew what was going on, but I didn't say anything, because, you know, you're a little kid, you're gonna lie, and, you know, try and not get in trouble for as long as you can, but he kept us up, I shit you not, until, like, 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, as, as, a, as a second grader, he kept us up till 1.30 in the morning, I'm not even kidding. And, I mean, he eventually found out why, and, you know, he got over it, and he stopped being a little bitch, but, and, ooh, that was a nice play by me, I gotta say. Anyway, guys, this is kind of the end of the video game plays wrapping up, so, can you guys let me know what was your first time getting in trouble at school? <coughs> <coughs> oh my lord, I'm a little sick. Believe the story in the comments section below telling me about the first time you guys got in trouble because I'd love to hear your stories. But there we have it. End of the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.